Once you have your document class created, you'll notice inside the package there is an import keyword here. Import flash display movie clip. The words with lowercase letters at the beginning are packages. You can think of them as folders. So inside the flash folder there's a folder called display. Inside that there's something starting with a capital letter which is a class. So Flash has a class file called Movie Clip that you can use. Our document class, the class that controls everything happening on the main stage, is based on Movie Clips by default. We can also use a sprite. If we change this word to sprite, then down here we would change the word sprite and say that our main stage has no timeline. It's just got one single frame where everything happens. So import will bring in this bit of functionality. If we wanted, we could also import other things. Let's say we wanted to import the rectangle class. That's all we'd have to type. Import flash geom rectangle. So we need to know where these things are located, but thankfully ActionScript and through the uh, flash IDE will help us by giving us a guide. This code complete box here, you can see flash about halfway down. As I start to type, it will automatically select the most appropriate one. I can hit enter or return, fills that in. If I hit period, there we go. Here's a list of other things. So let's say I wanted to work with mouse clicks, the mouse click event. So events dot mouse event. There we go. The mouse event is a class that I'm going to import because I want to use that functionality. Adobe did this so that they could reduce the size of the file that gets produced at the end. Instead of having everything and all the possible functionality included, they let us decide which bits of functionality we want to use and then import only those bits and pieces that we want.